Back to work on the 65 Fargo swept line. So we're still working on the front airbag installation. Uh, working on the shock mount still. The uh, kit came from Chassis Tech with uh, upper and lower mounts. The lower mounts is just a P15 pin kit that I don't feel is suitable for this application. So we're uh, manufacturing our own lower one and then modify the upper ones to suit uh, <clears throat> the application we're putting them on. Anyhow, the, there's a few issues with the instructions that come with the shock relocation kit. Uh, they want you to install the shocks at fully extended on the bags and the suspension. And that's good for setting it up to begin with. Uh, but it puts a lot of angled stress on the rubber bushings in the shock mounts when you move it up into uh, at ride height travel. And I'll just show you what I mean here. So right now I have uh, everything sitting at ride height. Uh, this square bar setup you see here is a tool that I put together for uh, setting shocks. Uh, it's just, it's got half inch bushings on each end the same width as the shock bushings. I mark uh, full extension as well as halfway for ride height travel. And what I've got it sitting here right now at uh, ride height. So if we were to stretch this, take this bolt out of the top, hopefully we can see this. So this swivels just like my uh, shock would. It lined up perfectly, the bolt slides right through at the ride height. Now if I drop her back down, let the jack off, we're now at fully extended. If I take this back up, stick the bolt in, you can see that there's quite a difference in the angle between the shock bushing and the, uh, the mount. Trying to do this with one hand is not real easy. Not cooperating at all. Okay. Well, it's still going, still going through. But as I lift up on the suspension, it's going to put quite a bind on that bushing. See, now I can't pull the bolt out, whereas it slid right in. So, I'm going to finish manufacturing my lower mount to match the, uh, the driver's side, which is complete. Hopefully I didn't confuse everybody. This one is completed. Lower mount I put in double shear, which I think is a much better improvement over using the P19 kit, which is just one of these bolt-on pins. I've always seen these in the past where this nut comes loose and this eggs out the hole in the control arm or in the frame. Uh, I've got both, both of these shock mounts are sitting at exactly the same angle. I use my angle finder. So we'll finish welding her up, finish fabricating that lower mount on the passenger side and I can put the motor back in, just check everything over and it'll be going off to Alberta to the owner for a whole bunch of uh, cleanup, strip down, 
get everything ready, paint the frame, and then reinstall everything with new tie rod ends, ball joints, the whole works.